Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lead Time. Let's talk about preservatives in hydrosol. And I will introduce the three different preservatives you may consider to add in hydrosol if you want to extend the shelf life if needed. And there will be a two videos. This will be the first one, talk about one preservative, and the next one, talk about the other two. I will explain the criteria you want to follow to find the right preservatives for your products. And there are a few key factors that's important in order to reach a good quality. The first question is when you want to use uh, preservatives in hydrosol. As I mentioned, hydrosol has a very good shelf life. I have a few bottles has been on my shelf for over two years and it has nothing changed, no mold. And even it's a flavor, it's the smell keeps the same. There's no change. However, you want to have a good sanitized bottle and a second hydrosol love stable temperature. You don't have to be placed in the uh, refrigerator, but a stable temperature can be a good factor for the hydrosol to have a perfect shelf life. But when you are selling hydrosols, these two conditions may be hard to reach. So good sanitized bottle, because you, when you have just a few bottles, you can easily sanitize them. I have a video explaining how to sanitize the bottle, and you can watch that one when you are, you know, reuse your bottle at home. That is very helpful. But if you have uh, hundreds of them, so how do you sanitize them, you know, uh, equally? That's a big question. And the second one, when you send the products out, you either send to the shop, in the, it may sit in the warehouse that's hot, and then you put on the shelf that's cool, and then you go back shipping, you know, during the shipping, it's hot during the process. So there will be a big temperature variation in the summer, in the winter, uh, how do you make sure you know the hydrosol can go through all those conditions? So this is the time you may consider to add a preservatives in your hydrosol. The next question is, uh, what are the criteria when we are selecting a preservatives? There are three criteria you need to follow to find the right one for your product. The first one is antimicrobial. The reason we use the preservatives is to want to prevent the growth or kill the micro microbial after the contamination. The microbial includes the yeast, mold, and the bacteria. So those all could cause the severe bad effects after the consumer use the product. So it need to be a have a good antimicrobial to a wide variety of those uh, bad germs. The second one is uh, solubility. When you're using the hydrosol, it's a water-based. So you want to have a preservative. It has a good solubility in water. The third one is uh, safe to use. Some of the preservatives are bad because they may cause irritation or allergy. We want to use a safe preservatives to reduce the side effects. But is preservatives a bad thing? Actually, it's not really a bad thing. It really depends on the preservatives you are using. You want to have, a, as I mentioned, meet the three criteria. Then it can help your product make a good experience for your customers. Hey, if you like our videos, please consider to join as a member in, in our channel. You will watch the member exclusive videos such as preservatives in hydrosol and how to become a successful distiller There's many classes. And you also have a badges as a member when you leave the comments, a lot of features. And uh, thank you for your support to help us grow. Now let's talk about the candidate preservatives for hydrosol. The first one is parabens. Parabens has been safely used for over 100 years for different kinds of products, including the food, 
cosmetics, the medicines, and it's recognized by U.S. FDA as GRAS, generally recognized as a safe. So it's a good label for the chemical you can use in the products. And it starts from the 1970s till now. Parabens are actually derived from the parahydrobenzic acid, PHAB, that is commonly exist in the fruits and vegetables, including cherries, blueberry, carrot, cucumber. Parabens is a Easter chemical. It has the fruity smell and also the commonly used parabens, including the mesoparaben, butylparaben, and propyl paraben. So parabens meet the first criteria antimicrobial. It has a good ability to kill variety of the microbial, including the mold and the bacteria. And the second, it has a good solubility in water, like mesoparaben. It has pretty good solubility. And also, while using the paraben, it's actually used a very small amount. The recommended is 0.1 to 0.3%. And the other best thing is it has a good pH working range from 4 to 8. It's perfectly cover our the hydrosol pH range. Then the last question is, is paraben safe to use? Parabens has been used since the 1950s. You can find the parabens in wide variety of products, including the toothpaste, shampoos, lotions, and the American Chemical Society estimates there are 85% of the products contain the parabens. But why some people have impression parabens are not safe? It comes from a study published in 2004. They found the paraben in the breast cancer tumors. And that study discussed the influence of the parabens on breast cancer. So after that, FDA did a more detailed review and they still recognize it as a GRAS product. It uh, means the consumer should not have a concern about the presence of parabens in the cosmetic products. However, the FDA still continue reviewing the chemicals until they find some other negative effects they may do something further at that moment, but for now, they still recognize as a safe. The last question is, should you use parabens in hydrosol? It depends. So paraben has been recognized as safe and effective as preservatives to keep the products safe and prevent the growth of the microbial. However, because the people has some impression about the parabens, so you may consider it as your business decision. So you want to find a comfort point, you know, because you want your customer know you add a certain chemicals, the preservatives in your product in order to keep uh, the best quality, best presence in front of the customer. So it's a balance. And the next video, I'll talk about two other options you may consider. If you want to replace the parabens with some other, have a better reputation. I also have a leotalkherbs.com. It has a free membership there. You can sign up and it has categorized the videos into a different groups for you easily to explore, you know, based on your interest to find the best video for you. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something about the parabens, the preservatives for hydrosol. If you think it's helpful, please like the video, share, and subscribe the channel. This is Dr. Liu. See you next time.